we are going to begin the chain rule. Uh, the chain rule happens way more frequently than what we've kind of let on. Um, there are uh, certain ones that we really kind of have skewed the problem to where you didn't have to use a chain rule, but really we should have been using the chain rule. Uh, we'll talk about that when we get to a couple examples. First off, the chain rule is when you have a function within a function, so a composition, right? And so when you're going to do this derivative, you're going to be doing the derivative of the outside, don't change the inside, times the derivative of the inside, right? So it's derivative of the outside times the derivative of the inside. And then technically, um, we would need to do this on all trig, all exponential, all logs. Um, we've just kind of finagled certain problems to not have to use the chain rule, but now it's going to kind of change and we're going to need to apply it to everything. So here are perfect three examples of what we're kind of looking for. Um, anything that has a fractional exponent, so you have kind of an inside function and an outside function, there's your composition, we're going to be applying the chain rule. And this is a, a radical because you have a square root. It's a, over two, so it's a square root. So any of the radicals, you're gonna be using that um, in any of the trig. And so we got a couple different different looks on this, different fields, but all right, so let's start with the first one. First thing is um, we're gonna be taking the derivative of the outside. So if we kind of ignore that, that's the derivative of the outside, right? So we're gonna take that power, bring it down. So y prime is gonna be, three halves, we won't change anything on the inside. So we brought the power down and we're subtracting a power. So three halves minus one is one half, and then times the derivative of the inside. So this is the derivative of the outside is this, not changing the inside, and then times five. So usually there's a little bit of cleanup that we have to do. So let me put this over one. I can take the five over one times the three over two, and that's going to get a 15 over 2 times 5x plus 4 raised to the 1 half. So there's our first example with the chain rule. All right, for trig, um, first thing I'm going to do is rewrite this. And that third power means sine x to the third power. Now it has exactly that same kind of feel as this one did. So when we do our derivative, we're doing the derivative of the outside, not changing anything here, and then lose our power times the derivative of the inside, the derivative of sine is cosine. So if we kind of clean this answer up, we're looking at three sine squared x times cosine x. All right, and then the last one is, let me put that more like that, is we have, this one was, here was our inner function, here's our outer function. This one, sine is your outer function and x to the seventh is your inner function. The inner, outer, inner, outer. So when we're doing this one, we're gonna do the derivative of sine is cosine x to the seventh times the derivative of the inside which is gonna be seven X to the sixth. So again, just a little bit of cleanup that I'm gonna have is, uh, let's put the seven X to the sixth on the outside or in the front times cosine of X to the seventh. All right, and that was a couple examples um, or a little bit of an introduction to it. We're gonna get do a couple more and get a little bit more complicated as we go. Um, but that just kind of gets us started.